Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a book from Australia from the Federation Press. This book is called Hayden, Selected Speeches and Papers, and it's been edited by two people, uh, John Sacker and Thomas Prince. Elizabeth has been the lead writer uh, on this book, and we've given it a title for our review, Combining Erudition and Charm, an eclectic mix of commentary on jurisprudence and legal theory. Let's look at the book first of all. Here it is. It's a bit difficult to see because it's actually um, gold on blue and it's, it's sort of not the easiest to read. But there is a hardback, there's the spine, and there's nothing on the back. But you can see it's a, it's a very heavy book. The, the paper is nice, it's like glossy paper. It runs to um, 760 odd pages. The index is by page numbering at the back. And you can see the index there. And then after behind that, you've got um, book reviews and various other um, reference materials. Again, basically bibliographical material at the back. At the front, you've got there's the, the main front page. It's the Selected Speeches Papers. And there's a Ford, of course, by the Honourable IDF uh, Callanan, which I'll talk about in a minute. There, he, there it is, of the actual uh, Ford itself. From, Ian Callanan, dated June 2018, and you've got the contents section itself. Uh, it's a heavy book, this one, in different parts. It's got um, six parts in total and 43 chapters. And then you've got the introduction itself, which comes to us via the, uh, the two editors. And you can see that there is footnoting at the bottom. And then you get into the various... Um, you've got the tales of cases, all the usual stuff we're looking for. Then there's a little bit... I'll just get after the case law to the tables of statutes, a little bit on that. Then you get into part one, lawyers. It's the, as I say, the detail. This is uh, an address, the first chapter, address at the 15th bobber of the Honourable Justice WMC Gummo. And it sets out in detail what this is all about. There's, there is information in the footnotes to explain stuff for those who are not quite so familiar. I mean, we've got, for instance, the Kellogg Briand Pact, going back into history a bit there, mentioned there. And you see, again, a lot of information. It's a very erudite work. And I'm um, very grateful to Federation Press for actually sending it to us from Australia because we don't review that many books from the other side of the world. I'm very glad to do so because it has a very important common law jurisdiction. So what do we say? We say this really quite inspired and carefully selected compilation that we have here of speeches and papers from John Dyson Hayden or Hayden, which offers a jurisprudential approach to law from an internationally known Australian jurisprudent. And that's what you've got. And that's why the thought, the legal thoughts, are really worth um, condensing. And I'm very grateful that the editors have produced this particular publication. The two of them, John Sacker and Thomas Prince, have therefore brought together in one volume a wealth of material from a broad and varied range of sources, much of it hitherto unpublished, which reveals the depth, breadth and height, so to speak, of Hayden's insightful scholarship and trenchant wit. This, says the Honourable IDF Callanan, Ian Callanan, writing in the Ford, is a diverse and reflective collection, redolent of learning and humanity, and therefore useful as well as appealing, uh, not just to law students, practitioners, judges and academics, but to a more general readership, as each speech and es uh, essay and paper offers the reader the charm of the best essayists. And that's what you've got. And um, It is actually, as I say, a very erudite publication. Legal publications, of course, <laughs> I have to say this, offer charm as well as erudition, and are well worth, therefore, knowing about. And that's why, of course, we're reviewing the book. And it's fair to say, therefore, that the Honourable J.D. Hayden, A.C. Queen's Counsel, has made a notable contribution to legal scholarship over the course of a lifetime in the law, hence the book. Now, a former judge, of course, of the High Court of Australia, Hayden commenced his career as a graduate of the University of Sydney, prior to winning a Rhodes Scholarship at Oxford. Um, at University College and achieving a, an impressive roster of credentials. He was admitted to the bar, called to the Bar of England and Wales in 71, 1971, 
and became a fellow of Keble College, Oxford, and eventually a professor of law and subsequently dean of the University of Sydney Law School. And following his retirement from the High Court in 2013, he, interestingly enough, presided over the Royal Commission into Trade Union Governance and Corruption, uh, the significance of which should certainly merit further research. Again, uh, very interesting to look at that approach at the turn of the century and the way um, certainly trade union matters are being seen in a slightly different way possibly in the 21st century. Now this book, as I've said, has been published by Federation Press and the book's introduction mentions that the textbooks Hayden has produced alone or as co-author include as their subject matter restraint of trade, economic torts, trade practices, evidence, equity, trusts and contracts. And it's divided into six parts. The, the book contains 43 separate speeches and or articles covering, for example, uh, judicial technique, constitutional law, evidence and criminal law, and equity and trusts. The latter of which contains commentary uh, on Lord Hoffman, that's Lenny Hoffman's, interpretation of contracts, and Lord Newberger's The Remedial Constructive Trust, Fact or Fiction. So we've got very up-to-date information. Of course, I would add that most bar students and certainly law students should know Hayden as well in this country. Now, um, I say that, I assume that they do anyway. Now, the book's first two sections certainly contain an eclectic range of material, from Japanese war crimes to a comment entitled President de Gaulle was wrong. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that. The European Union, the UK and Australia, that's the subtitle for it. This, is, this in case you're wondering, offers a condemnation of the European Union, which is scathing to a degree. Now, I'm not suggesting Brexiteers should read this book at all, but they might find it quite interesting. Whether or not, then, you agree with the opinions expressed in this volume, I can't help but be impressed as well as amused, I would suggest. The Blair Brown government, Hayden declares, must be ranked as amongst the worst since ever read the unready. Be reassured by the editors here that most of Hayden's jokes have been edited out to a limit of one joke her speech. That's a bit of a pity really but uh, it does help things run along a bit doesn't it? Let me conclude by saying you gather I enjoyed this book it was great fun to look at. Yes there's a rich variety of global and historical perspectives on mainly jurisprudential matters in this book which does indicate that it should attract considerable interest internationally particularly in common law jurisdictions which is basically where I came in on this because I do think that that's an important factor to bear in mind and of course the date of publication is cited as at uh, 2018 I'm recording this at the beginning of 2019 let's have one last look at this book there it is front it is a heavy book there's the spine and then nothing on the back just opening it in the middle varieties of judicial method in the late 20th century the common law world in 1954 now that's very interesting because that's the, around the time I was born and it's quite interesting to read even then and when I go back and think from my own legal career of what the world was like in the 60s which I remember well I don't really remember the 50s but I remember the 60s onwards it's interesting to get an idea of judicial method because I do think this book would be very interesting to anybody who is pursuing um, higher studies certainly in jurisprudence and anyone who's got a uh, a wider interest in the work that Hayden has has produced because as I said before and I'll just repeat it he is well known I'm pretty certain to a, a quite a wide range of law undergraduates and I'd like to thank everybody concerned for this book and also to Federation Press for producing it thank you to all bye bye